Hello and welcome to my first ever episode of HB Car. My name's Harry Button and basically what we're doing is taking you through sessions that I do, fish that I catch, types of fish that I do and how I do it. Um, so yeah, the first ever session here at Northfield Lake. It's mid-November now, it's still very warm. There's a massive wind blowing across the lake. I'm just meant to drop this later this week so I've got two nights ahead of me in the warmer weather and hopefully I'll be able to bag one before the temperature drops. So I'm going to quickly try and get the rocks out before it starts to rain, so see you later. Okay, so this is the first fifth of the session. Nice little common, eleven pound. Um, had just before midnight last night. It's been very lively though, so we'll slip them back. This is the smallest one I have from the lake, but such a lovely fish. Thought I'd save him for the morning. Have some nice photographs, so we'll get him back and show you another one. This is the second fish last night, 23 and a half, an absolute stunning mirror. Um, caught up a little spot off just off a snag. Um, the other rods are the first one, and I'll show you a bit about the rig after I've shown you the third fish. So, get this one back and show you the other one. So, this is the third fish I caught, 2614, another mirror again, signed to the rod out in the open water on the little snowman and I'll show you that rig later counted for all three fish last night so let's get them back so you saw me with those three fish earlier on and now I'm going to talk through the rig that nailed all three of them so you start off I always use quite heavy lead so it plugs in the silk quite nicely and I prefer inline one I fish this on lead core and it's a rubber insert so it just pops off if it should ever break off. Okay then just a simple swivel grin and knot and then we've got um, some fox cortex and I've just stripped it all in 25 pound the little blob of putty there to just pin that down and also when the fish picks up the rig it pulls the hook in before it hits the lead. Now I go down to a size 8 hook so quite a small hook with a little rig ring there and that's just not as knotted to a mini snowman with a nut boily and then a milky toffee pop up and then that was cast out over to an um, area of silt that I found last night with um, a few blood worms in and then just five spawns of maize over the top so that was the rig that caught all the fish. So here I have my PV common that I caught last night, £26.13 on a little snowman rig just off the edge of the snags over there. Um, have this about 4 o'clock in the morning. Lucky enough to have two others in the sack, so get them out and show you. Yeah, one more. Okay, yeah. Ok, 
okay, this is the second fish I had last night. 23 pound, 8 ounce mirror. Uh, lovely fish. Oh. <laughs> Again, caught off the snag line uh, on the little snowman. So I'll get this one back and show you the third fish. Okay, so this is the last fish from last night. Another 23 pounder off the snag line, so three fish on the one rod. Um, yeah, absolutely made up. Six fish in a session. Couldn't have asked some more. So I'll slip it back and get packed away before the rain comes anymore. Okay, so I just come to the end of my two night session. I managed six fish in total, um, three commons and three mirrors. The biggest was a 26 14 mirror. Um, and also bagged a 26-13 common, which is actually my PB common. I uh, made up with that because I've only ever had two commons for the lake, so to have three in a session was brilliant. And to have six fish in November was amazing and I'm blown away. Uh, one of those fish actually being a recapture of the first ever fish I had from the lake, so that's quite nice to see you still going around. So yeah, five fish over 20 in November is a good result, and um, I'm going to pack up now before it starts to rain again. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.